Hello guys and welcome to the Gone To series. In the last lesson, we talked about what is Hibernate and why we need Hibernate for a Java application. In this lesson, we'll talk about the setup needed in the Eclipse workspace to use Hibernate. The first step to use Hibernate is to download the Hibernate related jars and include them in the class path. Go to the download section of the Hibernate's website and click on the release bundles. Click on the latest repository and then download the release zip by clicking here. This will start downloading. Once the download gets successful, extract the contents of the zip onto your local machine's drive and the contents would look like this. Go to the lib directory. You would find a lot of directories over here which contains the Hibernate related jars. The required folder contains all the necessary jars which you will need for creating a basic Java application. Hibernate Core is the main jar of Hibernate which contains all the Hibernate related APIs and rest all these jars are dependencies of Hibernate. So apart from including Hibernate Core in your class path, you would also need to include all these dependencies in your class path because Hibernate uses them. If we go back, we would find a lot of directories other than the required directory which contains the Hibernate related jars. All these directories contains the jars which are there for some advanced features of Hibernate like secondary level cache and many other features. We will talk about all those advanced features in our upcoming tutorials. Now let's switch to the Eclipse workspace and start configuring our first Hibernate project. Go to the Package Explorer, right click and choose a new Java project. Give a name to the project. Click on Finish. We will need to add all Hibernate related jars to the class path of our first Hibernate project. So go to the project's name, click on Properties. Go to the Java Build Path, Libraries and click on Add Libraries. Double click on user library, click on user libraries, click on new and give a name to this user defined library. Make sure that you would not select system library as this is the user defined library which we are going to create for hibernate related jars. Click on OK. Now add all Hibernate related jars in the newly created Hibernate library. Select all, click on open. So this would add all Hibernate related jars which are required for Hibernate project in this newly created Hibernate library. Click on OK, finish and OK. So we can see that we have just added a user defined library with the name Hibernate library which contains all these jars which are required for creating a basic Hibernate Java application. We are done with the first step and the second step is to include the Java database driver in the project's class path for the relational database that you want to use. For all my Hibernate tutorials, I am going to use MySQL database. I have already installed this database on my machine. So whichever relational database that you want to use, it could be Oracle, Postgres, Derby or any other relational database. First install that database in your machine and download the Java database driver of that database from its website and include that in the project's class path. I've already downloaded the database driver for MySQL in my machine. So let's include that in the project's class path. Go to the project's name, right click and choose properties, go to the Java's build path, libraries and add external jars. I have already downloaded the jar for Java database connectivity. This is the jar, MySQL connector Java. Click on open and click on OK. We can see that we have added Java database driver in the project's class path. In this tutorial, we configured Eclipse workspace for all Hibernate related tasks. 
In the next tutorial, we would start writing our first Hibernate Java application. <music>